So Crystal Ray Atlanta is the 28th uh, Crystal Ray School in the nation. And Crystal Ray schools are known for two main things. One is we only serve low-income students. And two is all of our students go to work. And they work in companies. And the companies pay us a fee, and that offsets 70% of the cost of educating our students. But in Atlanta, we had a, a unique situation in that we did not have a facility that would serve all of the students that wanted to come uh, to Crystal Ray. And the building that we started in, we had a lease on that was running out. Fortunately, we were donated a downtown office building, which doesn't happen too often. Uh, but then we had to go raise the rest of the fund in order to renovate the building and add a gymnasium uh, to that building. RDF was uh, one of the three uh, funders that came in through a new market tax credit program to give us the final funding we needed to complete the renovation and to add the gym to the building. Crystal Ray is, is a Jesuit school in Atlanta, and, and we, we try to our, our model is to build men and women for and with others. And, and so I, I think that's very similar to what RDF tries to do, is to, is to help people uh, get, get a hand up so that they can make a difference in society. And that's really what we're focused on. Education, in my opinion, is, is the secret sauce. It's what's gonna change uh, people in low-income economic situations and give them a chance that we're all looking to give uh, to the next generation of, of uh, young people. And, and so RDF and, and Chris Ray, I think, work well together because we're focused on a similar population, low income. Uh, we're, we're, we're focused on the Hispanic population in Atlanta, and we're making a difference by giving them a quality education that's going to position them for the future. One of the great uh, things about Chris Ray Atlanta is that we have this work-study program, and our students go to work in companies, in Atlanta, we have the who's who of corporate Atlanta. Every major company in Atlanta has pretty much signed up to provide a job or even multiple jobs for our students. And frankly, I was concerned at the beginning that, you know, what are the companies going to do when 14-year-old kids, 15-year-old kids going to work in their workplace and they were going to be paying us a fee? Well, I, I, I quickly got over that because it was in, I was impressed with how much energy the companies and, and more importantly their employees put into our students. A lot of company employees want to make a difference in their community, but frankly they're working so hard, they've got a lot of things going on in their lives, they just don't have the time to go out and volunteer. We're in essence taking that volunteer opportunity to the company workplace and the, and the employees of the companies have a chance to make a difference. And I think one story that stood out well for me was we had a freshman student who frankly was had a, had a difficult situation. His father was not involved in his life. His mother was in and out of his life and had a lot of problems of her own. He was effectively being raised by an elder brother who was far from an ideal role model. Well, this student one time came up in the cafeteria and saw me and said, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Garrett, for the first time in my life that I can remember, I had a birthday party. I had a birthday party because eight coworkers at Coca-Cola got together and threw a birthday party for me. And to me, that, that says a lot about the difference we're making in the lives of not only our students, but also the employees in the company.